What's going on guys, Sean Obsessed here. Uh, back again on another video in our never ending quest to find, test, and review great detailing products. Today guys, we're bringing you the Griot's Garage Ceramic 3-in-1 Wax. Uh, this is Griot's first step into the ceramic realm. You know, ceramic is that buzzword, SIO2. You know, it's that new, it's not new to most detailers, but to the uh, most consumers that have never heard of ceramic, seen ceramic, SIO2, they don't know what any of that means. Uh, those are the hot buzzwords for the consumer line for us detailers, ceramics and SIO2, silicon carbide, all that stuff's been around for uh, several years. It's just starting to make it into the, on the consumer shelves. And this is Girls Garage, first uh, product into that ceramic kind of sphere. All right, so Griot's Garage 3-in-1 Ceramic Wax. Uh, simple product to use. Uh, we're going to apply it on our test hood here. This test hood has nothing. We're gonna spin the camera around here. So what we have is our test hood with nothing on this side of the panel. On the far side of the panel, we've got the uh, Dynawax Ceramic Serum been on there, gosh, it's going on eight months now, uh, holding up pretty good. So we've got our ceramic serum here. We're gonna leave nothing here, and we're gonna apply the Rio's Garage 3-in-1 here and on the uh, Dynawax ceramic serum. So bare panel right now is gonna get the ceramic 3-in-1. We're gonna leave this totally bare, and we're also gonna apply it on the uh, ceramic coated side to show you how well it applies on the ceramic coated surface and this will be our test bare panel here now this side of the panel has been polished I went over it made a few passes with my LK dot and my Rupes Mille with a Lake Country orange flat pad and hyper polish and then I wiped it down with optimum paint prep so it's ready for product so we're gonna go ahead and apply some to the panel. We're gonna go and apply that on, again, like I said, on top of the Dino Wax side and on top of the bare panel. We're gonna let that cure for 24 hours and we're gonna take it out, show you the water behavior and that sort of thing. What I'm doing now though, what I wanted to do is get this applied in a warmer temperatures. Products like this, um, they go on well, easy, we all know. Like I said, I haven't tried it yet, so I'm sure it does go on pretty easy. And from some of the reviews I've seen, it is pretty easy to work with. But what I wanted to do, add a little bit to the application was, I'm in the garage, it was a hot day. Right now, it is 84. about 84 degrees in my garage with about 55% humidity. So it's pretty warm in here. And usually that's when you start to run into problems with product like this, whether it's a wax um, or spray on application type product, you kind of want to stay away from the heat. Um, it's not terribly hot and everything you're going to, just about everything you're going to have problems with in the sun. So I don't think the sun application is a true test. Heat though is a good test of how well the product applies, how user friendly it is. So let's get to it. So the directions say to spray on your panel Spread evenly and then buff out. Pretty simple, just like any other product. So we're gonna doing it on this black hood. So if there are any streaks, anything funny about the application, we'll notice. So we'll give it a little spray there. We'll give it two sprays on our three sprays on our Dynawax side. And I like to get a little on my towel just to prime it. All right. First things first, smells great. It's got a uh, melon kind of fragrance to it. Goes on easy and it's kind of working into the panel. Flashing in really well. Went really a little bit smoother on the coated side. That's to be expected. And it's basically flashing almost totally away. No streaking whatsoever which is great, like I said, it's pretty warm in here. I didn't run the AC purposely. I noticed initially, so 
some slickness, and that's it. Easy peasy. Now the label says to apply, wait 24 hours to do a second coat, or 12 to 24 hours before doing a second coat. I'm gonna do a second coat off camera, and then we'll bring a video back to give you some water behavior and a neat trick that I've uh, seen with this that I noticed a lot of people haven't talked about and I'll show you on the second half of the video. So we'll bring you back. All right guys, we are back. We've got our test panel. Uh, we've let our three in one cure. We applied a second coat about uh, 13 hours later. It's been another 12 to 14 hours uh, since the second coat. Now we're gonna go ahead and proceed with the water test. And remember, We've got our side here coated with the Dynawax Ceramic Serum. We put three in one there. We had a bare panel that we applied uh, that was polished and then prepped. And then we applied our three in one here. And this is bare, there's nothing here. So we're gonna go ahead, hit it with some water. See how the water behavior is on the panel. Good beating and sheeting there. And it's as you would expect. Good product. We'll look at the bare panel. So as you'd expect, the three in one, really good beading and sheeting, nice tight beads. And of course it's gonna do even better on the side that's been coated. But here is where I really like three in one. And this is the, what the label doesn't tell you. We've wet our panel down. I'm gonna hit it with a little three in one. Here, here. Got my Grills Garage PFM. and it comes off like a dream. No streaking, no problems. So, the three in one works really well as a drying aid. I think that's key because you can make an easy application after a wash and you're basically doing a two steps in one killing two birds in one stone not only are you drying your car but you're adding another layer of protection on it so guys this one gets a big thumbs up i've been looking at a product that can replace c2 v3 as a maintenance product for my customers i like to provide them options that are one easy to use affordable and accessible and the grills garage three and one hits all three c2 v3 at 500 milliliters, 16 ounces roughly, comes in at $30. The Griot's Garage, three in one, for 22 ounces comes in at 20 bucks. So, I don't know guys, this might be the new go-to. I know I said the th same thing about the Turtle Wax uh, ceramic spray coating. However, it works well, it's not a bad product, but I think the drying aid point makes it that much easier to use for me similar to c2v3 it can be used as a standalone but also as a drying aid and that simple easy application making drying and applying a, a two-in-one process takes the cake for me guys what do you think so we've got more products to come so stay tuned we'll see you again so like comment subscribe and share see you in the next one